Okay. Um, in John, the second chapter, started at the first verse, and I'm going to kind of tell y'all kind of how this came about. Um, Stephanie was supposed to be on here tonight, and she said, she sent me a message at, during church and asked me would I be upset if she didn't do it, and I told her no. And I'd already told y'all that I did a study many years ago about the healings of Jesus. And so I had the baby today and I asked um, George if he would, you know, watch her so I could do some study. And, and I really feel like that the Lord spoke to me about this, that what I'm going to talk about tonight. And instead of doing the healings of Jesus, I want to talk to y'all about the miracles of Jesus. Because you know that Jesus was prophesied in the Old Testament that he was gonna, it was gonna be God among us. He was gonna come and be born of a virgin, and and he was gonna be the Prince of Peace. He's our healer, and uh, I, I'm I'm so used to doing like a quick Bible study at, on Sundays, and I told Kathy today I'll study and study and study, and I'll have ten pages left after church is over I didn't even get to so in my heart I felt like I needed to just do this slowly um I'm not going to be doing this every week if uh Colleen comes in uh or or if Stephanie comes in with her intercession uh about prayer I'm a stand by but I do believe that we're going to prepare here this is what i heard in my heart today this series is going to be laying out our miracle we're going to be laying out for god to do a miracle in my life in, in your life in our life and no better time to start then the very first miracle that Jesus did, I'm going to start with the first miracle. And I'm going to start, we're going to read it. It's only like, uh, it's just like a 11, 11 verses. So y'all listen, Jesus, on the third day, a wedding took place at Cana of Galilee. Jesus's mother was there. And Jesus and his disciples had also been invited to the wedding. When the wine was gone, Jesus' mother said to him, they have no more wine. Dear woman, why do you involve me? Jesus replied, my time has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, do whatever he tells you. Nearby stood six stone water jars, the kind used by the Jews for the ceremonial washing each holding from 20 to 30 gallons. Jesus said to the servants, fill the jars with water. So they fill them to the brim. Then he told them, now draw some out and take it to the master of the banquet. They did so. And the master of the banquet tasted the water that had been turned into wine. He did not realize where it had come from. Though the servants who had drawn the water knew, then he called the bridegroom aside and said, everyone brings out the choice wine first and then the cheaper wine after the guests have had too much to drink. But you have saved the best till now. This is the first of the miraculous signs Jesus performed at Cana in Galilee. He thus revealed his glory and his disciples put their faith in him it's a weather map that was the first that was the very first miracle that jesus performed as i was praying i said well you know this isn't even long enough to hardly even do a bible study on and then all of a sudden i started reading again and bj it just started coming it started i started getting revelation sort of like what you went through roseanne that you talked about this morning a revelation started coming to me. And in the first verse, it says that Jesus was invited. You know, words, but we've been talking about this. Words mean things. That's right. We're setting up, folks, for our miracle. So what was the first thing? Jesus was invited. 
Yes. He was invited. He had to be there, BJ, before that first miracle ever took place. He yes. was invited in. We need to ask him to be in the presence of our life. You go, Phyllis, you really got that out of that? I really did. Jesus had to be invited in. If he hadn't have been invited, he wouldn't have been at the right place at the right time to perform that miracle because they was going to run out of wine because back then, festivals lasted for a week. And then they were in a panic. You ever been in a panic? What am I yeah. going to do? What are you yeah. going to do? Dial up Jesus after you already in need and go, wow, I better call Jesus real quick. What if he's already been invited to the wedding? What if he's already been invited to what you need in your life? That was the first thing I saw. The invitation was there. Not just for Jesus, his disciples were invited. His mama was there. His mama was there. She was still guiding him. Yeah, Mary was guiding him. He went to her and said, Mama, I, my time ain't come yet. You know what he was saying? I, I don't know if I can do this. I, you know, you know, I, am I supposed to be doing this now? I see <laughs> this. This is the way I, it's so real to me. This is the way I see this. So the first thing we see is that he was invited in. I'm laying down. I'm going to say this a lot of times. Laying out your miracle. Yes. How many needs a miracle? I love it. How many needs a miracle? We got to lay it out. Time. And then the second thing I want you to I want you to think about this. We have to tell them what we need. What do we need? They needed wine. That was the second thing. I, that it says right here. Jesus said, you know, he was invited, and then all the wine was gone. So they went, they, they went and they said, well, Jesus, we, the wine is all gone. We're in trouble. <laughs> so the next thing we have to do after we have this invitation, we have to let him know. We have to pray. We have to ask him and tell him. We have to let him know what we are in need of, laying out our miracle, laying out the needs that we need to get what we need from our Savior. I just yeah. got I started this out that he was already prophesied. He was he, he was in the prophecy that he was going to come. <laughs> he was going to come from a virgin birth and that he was going to be Emmanuel. Yes. God with us. Mm -hmm. Now, the, I, I'm going to be honest with you. When I got to the third to, to the second thing, I was almost in shouting. I'm going to ask. Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask Donna. I'm gonna ask you, if you will, to uh, go and look up John uh, two three for me. Because I like to do this. I like to have help. And I'll be honest with you, this was sprung on me today, and I had a grandbaby, so I did not look up and write this down. I actually put it on my computer, forgetting that I was gonna be using my computer. Phyllis, so, you said John what? John two two three three. John two. Verse okay. three. Yes, ma'am. Okay. But see, we got to notice that the miracle was about to take place because of what? Because we needed something. Yes. We needed something. The miracle was going to take place because there was a need. Yes. Laying out our miracle. We're laying out our miracle. What about you? Do, do you have it, Donna? Yeah, John 2, 3. That's right where you were reading, right? Yes. I, I, you, hey. know what? you know what, Donna? I, I, I have told you the wrong scripture. I thought please, you did. Please forgive me. That's I okay. need you to look up James, the fourth chapter of James, the second verse. James 4, 2? Yes, yes. yes. Okay. I had actually wrote down. Yes, I'm sorry. You want, I got, I got it all it. written down, down here, but y'all see that I did this. I was in here about an hour and a half. But I had I a grandbaby it. running in and out. So when we get when we get to the point, he's invited. So that's the first thing he's got to do. We got to invite him. And the second thing we got to do is we got to have to go tell him what we're in need of. That's right. And then that that this is the this is what I I want you to to really let this grasp a hold. 
Uh, uh, first of all, have you got you, have you got that verse yet, Donna? Yeah, I got it. Go ahead and read it for us. It says, yet yeah, you do not have because you do not ask. You do not have because you do not ask. That, that was not in this miracle that Jesus performed. So I had to go and look and see the other scriptures that parallel with this. We have to ask. He knows what we are in need of, but we have to ask. We're laying out our miracle. So we have to tell him what we need. Or sometimes we just expect him to know what we need. Or is anybody guilty of that? Uh, Betty has really brought our attention to you need to pray for yourself. Yeah. A lot of times I'll go lay in the bed and I'll, I'll, I'll be troubled and I'll start praying and I'll go, God, is it something in my heart that's not right? Do, what do I need to do? You need to clear this heart, clear this mind out. And then John 14, I'm actually in John. Let me just look that up. Hold on just a minute. Phyllis, I got a comment I want to add. Sure, go ahead, Donna. Um, and your statement's true, but here's what, here's what it says to me. Yes, God does know everything we need, but when we come to him and ask, that is a display of our faith. Amen. And yes. he wants us to do that because he wants us to have faith. But yes. yes, God knows everything, and he knows everything we need. He knows what's going to happen next week and 20 years from now. But even though he knows our needs as an act of our faith, we're supposed to come before him with prayer asking. Oh, really? Donna, yes. that is wonderful because I want you to, I want you, I've got this written down. I want you to listen to what John 14, 12, 14 says, because it's, a, it's an act of faith when we come to him and we pray. It yeah. says, I, and this is Jesus. I tell you the truth. Anyone who has faith in me will do what I have been doing. He will do even greater things than these because I am going to the Father and I will do whatever you ask in my name so that the Son may be glorified to the Father. You may ask of me for anything in my name and I will do it. Now, I'm, I'm going to repost this, so I'm not going to be able to get up and jump up and down and act like a fool, but I'm going to tell you what, I, that's worth getting up and down and jumping. That is a, what she just, what, what Donna just brought out. It's an act of faith when we speak those words of what we need. So mm -hmm. what are we doing? We're laying out our miracle. Yes, we're going to invite Jesus. Yes. And then we're going to tell him what we need because unless we need something, we're not going to see a miracle. That's right. The third thing is what it, it, it is, it, is, and this is the best. I'm going to read it to you. I'm going to read it to you right, right here. It said, in the in the tenth verse, it says, "Every everyone brings out the choice wine first, and then the cheaper wine after the guests have gone. I mean, has drank too much, and they don't even know that. So they water the wine down at those weddings. But what they wanted to know is why did they wait to bring the best out last? Now get ready to lay your miracle out." He gives mm -hmm. us more than what we ask for. He yes, gives he us, is. he exceeds whatever it is we're in need of. He does yes, better than what we are wanting from him. He's got yes. so much for us. And Ooh. this is the first miracle that yes. Jesus performed. This was his laying down groundwork. And this mm -hmm. is our laying down groundwork. Because I'm going to tell you something, and I'm going to be bold. Before we finish this series on miracles, we're going to see miracles. And you want to know why? Because we're going to ask it in faith and in belief. And as we study, and as we, the Bible even says that we have to study to have ourselves approved, to be approved. <laughs> We have to, we have to study. So I expect in this study for us to grow in our faith in what? In laying out a miracle in our life. Yes, Lord. Hold on just a minute. I'm sorry. George, George.
will you put up put the leash on him and take him out? He's got to go. He come and scratch the door. He needs to get out. I'm sorry, y'all. He's my shadow, but when he has to go to the bathroom, he's smart. He lets us know. I, Phyllis, I apologize. Phyllis, I apologize. I to, Phyllis, I have to say this. When you were reading this, what really struck me was this is his first miracle. And his mother knew it was there was no question he can do this listen to him and she's never seen a miracle done by him before her complete faith in him being god was amazing yes because he was god and did you know that in our in, in, in when we read and start reading about jesus that he was not even accepted from people in his own neighborhood right you know what they would say well ain't he the carpenter's son he built my house. You mean he's God? Can't you just hear the 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 unbelief? Yes. But not yes. his mama. She knew because it was prophesied. Yeah. He was the son of God. He was here in our in the flesh, but he yes, was he was also God because yes. he came here. So I mean, I know it's only 7:30, y'all. But we took it took us six about that two or three months to do Esther. And I know that I could go on into the next miracle, but I'm not going to because what I want you to do is I want you to chew on this a while. I want you to go and read in John the uh the, the second chapter and start at the first verse and read about the miracle of of, of uh that that jesus performed and if y'all get anything else out of it or if you have now please do um please do interject here but these are the three things i got he was invited we had to talk to him and let him know what we got and then praise god he's gonna give us more he's gonna yeah. give us better than what we asked for that's right He's got something better for us. We're laying down the groundwork for a miracle in our life. And I'm going to tell you what. I wanted to go further, and I could, but I'm not used to being, I'm not used to doing like a Bible study. And when we done Esther, I learned that sometimes we, it, we get too fast. I know I do because I have to cram everything in 30, 45 minutes on a Sunday morning. And yeah. I could go on into the next miracle because I've started working on it, but I'm not going to. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to ask if anybody has a thought. Uh, I don't know. Sister Betty Bun, did you ever get your volume where you could hear us? Bless her heart. I don't know. She's down there and I, I it doesn't say she's muted. I'm so sorry. I need to work with her son. Does anybody have any thought on this or anything they want to add? I think it was wonderful myself. And uh, I really like what Donna said, because you got to have faith when we ask him anyway, because he knows our heart and soul and spirit and mind and everything, you know? So you got to go with him with all that. And uh, yes, I love it that he was invited and his family was invited and all that, you know? Oh, I love it. I just love it. I'm going to probably go back and read the whole chapter. Well, that'll know. be good. That's what yeah, happened with Roseanne. And but uh, but, but what Donna, what Donna was to... pointing out, Betty, was just asking yes. is a show of faith. Yeah. Because, you know, George uses this illustration all the time when he preaches. Uh, I got this money right here. I, I got this money right here. I got some money right here. And, 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 and Betty, if you come meet me down at, at McDonald's, at, at 10 o'clock, I got $100 here, which it ain't. It's about 25 I got $25 <laughs> here for you. And if you'll meet me down at McDonald's, I'll give it to you. But guess what? What if I don't show you that $25? What if I just say, I got $25 for you. If you'll meet me down at McDonald's, I'll bring it to you. If you didn't have no faith in me, you're not going to get up and put your clothes on at 10 o'clock at night and ride down to McDonald's to go get it because you don't have no faith in it. So if you don't <laughs> see it, but you still show up. That's a show of faith. Yes, there was yes, a yes. show of faith, especially going, just do whatever he tells you to do. 
That's and, right. And I love it that Jesus was saying, but it's not my time yet. How do we know it wasn't his time? Everything is in God's time. Yes, it was his time or it wouldn't have happened. I see it right there. The, the, the meaning of this and this miracle, this first miracle that Jesus performed to me lays down the groundwork because next week we're going to talk about him uh, how, when Jesus heals one of the officials in, uh, in Galilee. And by the way, I think they are in Galilee. They are here. A lot of it happens in, in, in uh, Galilee. But it is so awesome that those things just came so quickly to me when she started to do it. I pulled out my book on healings and I started to jump right into the healings of Jesus. And I thought, no, we need to lay the groundwork for a miracle. Yes. Some people need more. Uh, some people need a miracle and it's not a healing. Maybe you got a lost loved one. Maybe you're about to lose your home. Yeah. You know, there's a lot more than just the healing of Jesus. There's miracles of Jesus. Does anybody yes, else have a thought? Go ahead, Donna. I got one other comment, kind of for Betty. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it's for everybody, but we have to remember, too, that G uh, Jesus wants us to communicate with him. And the way that the only ways that we really have to, to communicate in this day, because he's not on the earth walking down here with us like he was here. We mm -hmm. communicate with the Lord by reading his word mm -hmm. and by prayer. That's and it. the more we communicate, even if it's asking him for things that he already knows we need, the more we communicate, the closer we get and the more like him we can become, which is what he ultimately wants us to do. But we have to communicate with him, and that's how we do it, through prayer, meditation, and reading the Bible. Amen. Oh, God, yes. Yes, Amen. thank you, Donna. Thank you, Donna. Ellis? Yes, ma'am. BJ, go ahead. I don't know who that is coughing back there, but I think we need to pray for them. I don't I don't know who it is. I don't hear anything. Oh, oh yeah, they've been coughing for a while. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes ma'am. That's that's Bob Jr. I was going and waiting to interrupt and ask you if you stop right now and have prayer for him. He has done this for over an hour now, almost constant. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh, I hear it now. Uh yeah, let's ladies, let's pray because he has a blood clot and this is a symptom. Not yeah. a good symptom of that blood clot. Let's pray for him. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Heavenly Let's Father, we come to you, Lord, and we're going to bring Bobby Jr. Yeah. to you right now, God. Remember God, I know he's you. been, and they've given medication, yeah. but God, right now, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to yeah. touch him right now. Calm yeah. that cough. Move yeah. that clot, Lord. Let the medication yeah. do its job. Touch him yeah. in the name of Jesus right now. Yeah. This yeah. mom's heart is asking just like Jesus's mom was was asking and, and and telling in the scriptures that we just read. I just ask you right now, Father, to touch Bobby tonight. Calm this mother's nerves, give her strength, and give her knowledge on how she needs to proceed to help him. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 Thank, you. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Mm. instant in season and out of season that's right that's right does anybody else have any uh thoughts on on our um uh, i'll ask you this and i'm up for for uh, constructive criticism should i have done the next miracle should i move along faster i, I need some input no, no I'm, I'm, like, I'm like you i like to I like to chew on that, you know. Oh, okay. I, I like Betty. I'm going to go and read what yeah. you read. I'm going to write some notes, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because I, 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 like, I like it that way. I mean, okay. I, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not used to doing it this short, but I am used to doing more or less uh, a, uh, a longer. And I, like I said, I was prepared. 
But I said, you know what? This is a study, and I'm going to make it a series. And and I, I'm excited to to uh to see mm -hmm. all the miracles that he's performed and mm -hmm. start chewing on them like we like BJ just said and mm -hmm. laying down the the uh, roadmap that he has given us to 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 uh, build our faith to expect the miracle. I like what Stephanie told uh told and then uh, Roseanne you know expounded on it another time. Why not ask for the supernatural? That's because right. he's our supernatural God. Why not ask for something big? Um, mm -hmm. and, and and that is really good. I, is there anybody else got a thought before I turn off the recording? Okay, if all is good, then I'm going to stop the recording and then we can talk without any recording on.